All right, so I do want to go over the benefits of long-term investing. This is something I promote and preach 24-7. Um, I try to get as many people down with long-term investing as possible just because I think in the end, um, doing day trading is stupid. I've had arguments with friends about this that uh, some friends of mine are like, hey, day trading is all the shit, it's all the rage, and, and I'm sitting over here like, nope, I don't believe it is. Um, I do believe that day trading in itself is fundamentally just a dumb practice. And I hope people have um, are a little more responsible than thinking that day trading is a good idea. So let's go over this real quick. Let's go over long-term investing. Um, <clears throat> so I just kind of want to do a long-term investing overview. Um, why it's important, you know, just kind of in general, just kind of want to talk about it, want to discuss it, <clears throat> kind of in like a paper, original paper form. All right, so long-term investing is a strategy in which invest an investor holds onto an asset for an extended period of time, usually several years or more. This approach to investing is based on the belief that over the long term, the value of an asset will increase, resulting in a higher return for the investor. We do want to examine the principles of long-term investing and the benefits of this approach to investing. One of the main principles of long-term investing is the concept of compounding. Compounding refers to the process of earning interest on the sorry, of earning interest on the interest that has already been earned. This means that the longer an asset is held, uh, the more the interest the more the interest earned on the asset will grow. For example, if an investor invested $10,000 in a stock, that earned a 10% return after one year, the investment would be worth uh, $11,000. However, if the same investment was held for 10 years, the investment would be worth $25,937. This illustrates the power of compounding over the long term. Another principle of long-term investing is diversification. Uh, diversification is the process of spreading investments across different asset classes, sectors, and geographic locations. This helps to reduce the risk of losing money due to uh, a downturn in one specific market or sector. By diversifying investments, an investor is able to spread their risk across multiple assets, thus reducing the overall risk to, of their portfolio. Long-term investing also has the benefit of allowing an investor to ride out short-term market fluctuations. The stock market, for example, is known for its volatility and can experience sharp fluctuations in the short term. However, over the long term, the stock market has consistently uh, has consistently trended upward. By investing for the long term, an investor is able to avoid the emotions that can be associated with short-term market fluctuations and instead focus on the long-term potential of their investments. In conclusion, long-term investing is a strategy that is based on the principles of compounding and diversification. It allows an investor to benefit from the power of compounding over time and to reduce their risk by diversifying their investments. Additionally, by investing for the long term, an investor is able to ride out short-term market fluctuations <clears throat> and focus on the long-term potential of their investments. While there is no guarantee of success in investing, long-term investing has been shown to be a reliable strategy for achieving financial goals over time. So, hopefully, it gives you guys a good uh, overview, um, a summary of long-term investing. Um, and it's good to get it all out in one single summary. I'm a huge proponent of long-term investing, and I think it's the way to go. Um I think soon enough, though, I do want to do a video on, on the Vanguard Total World Index summary. So I'll do that here pretty soon. All right. See you guys here in a few moments.